Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. We saw what would be a confirmed market reversal today. <clears throat> We've seen that the Dow has been in a downtrend for the last couple of weeks. Today, they traded it up almost 300 points. However, notice what the final result was. They couldn't close it above the T line. That in itself, doesn't mean we're in a trend reversal. It's when all the other indexes also show sell signals, like we saw in the bearish left-right combo in the NASDAQ, and the close below the T-line, and the fact that it closed or uh, failed right here at the same level it topped out before. These are all good, strong indications that there's been a major change of the overall market uh, sentiment. Whereas before the NASDAQ was trading positive and the Dow was trading lower, told us it was sector specific. When we started seeing sell signals in all the indexes, that's when you know there's been a change of investor sentiment. So this is what has uh, provided the opportunity to be short in many positions. We recommended uh, shorting AFRM because if it opened lower today, remember it opened lower today when the market or the Dow was up 200 points on the open. That told us the dumpling top, which is the opposite of a fry pan bottom, was still working effectively to the downside. Notice the bearish best friend signal that kind of confirmed the force of this uh, dumpling top. And remember the dumpling top will have a strong move to the downside, whereas a fry pan bottom has that big, strong move uh, to the upside. And this is what we call observe the obvious. If we can see what the overall market trend or, or price trend is of a, a stock, and we can see that it is failing at levels that everybody else is watching, like the 50 day moving average. And we can see what type of signal it's failing at at the 50 day moving average, such as a bearish doji sandwich, that's a high probability factor that tells us that this downtrend is still in progress. Here's our first target, and then uh, probably down here, at least to the 200 day moving average, the next likely target. Now, this is not rocket science. This is just analyzing what is the trend, uh, current trend. And is it at a level or are we seeing sell signals at levels that everybody else is watching? That would tell us they're not going up through the 50. They're using the 50 as resistance. Anytime we can see a situation, this was an alert. Notice on, uh, what is today? Monday, Friday, Thursday, they opened here and closed up here. Friday, they gapped down below the previous day's open and below the T-line made this very simple. If they open this lower today, you could be shorting immediately because that would be giving you a bearish flutter kicker signal. Now note that it already hit the uh, 50, the first likely target. Stochastic's heading down. This is a strong sell signal. It's called a bearish flutter kicker signal because if you took out this little flutter, you essentially have a bearish kicker signal, which is your strongest individual candlestick signal. The bearish best friend, the reason we were looking for short positions was the Dow was trading lower, the NASDAQ was trading higher. That told us there was a little bit of uh, indecision in the markets. That was a good time to have both long and short positions in the portfolio. Anytime you see that bearish best friend, the implication is there's gonna be more downside. So candlestick signals are just the graphic depiction of the strength or weakness of human nature. We were buying RBLX right here at this doji sandwich breakout, J-hook pattern. Where would we set our stops? Well, this positive trading today told us when they gapped up in the overbought condition that far away from the T-line, 
You definitely had your safety stops set either at the previous day's close or at worst case scenario at the previous day's open because logic says if they've gapped up in the overbought condition, that's where the exuberance has come in. The Japanese rice traders tell us start watching for selling. We get out at the appropriate times because when they started selling off, where do you think the obvious target was going to be? Right smack dab back here at the T-line. Cat, you're bothering me. Same scenario. This is why we learned the 12 major signals of candlestick analysis. Apple, nice uptrend. Today it was up big, but notice the little gap up in the overbought condition. That was the alert to be prepared for taking profits. Now you have a shooting star, one of the 12 major signals, after gapping up in the overbought condition, makes your trade of app, Apple very simple. If they open this lower tomorrow, you close it out immediately. To stay long, they have to open positive and trade positive to stay in this position. So there are some very subtle indications, some not so subtle indications, of when an uptrend is likely to be over. It's when all the indexes are selling in the, or trading in the same direction or selling off in the same direction at the same time. Join us Saturday. This coming Saturday after Thanksgiving, if you want to get away from the kids or the grandkids, we're going to be doing a free training showing how we can tell when an uptrend is over. So this is just gonna be one of those sessions where it's free, come join us. There's a lot of logic that can be seen graphically. And then there's a lot of logic in candlestick analysis that allows us to get prepared to tell us when an uptrend might be over. So we were recommending having both long and short positions in the portfolio when we could see the Dow was doing this and the NASDAQ was trading higher, that told us we needed to have positions in both directions. That was what was making the market very sector specific. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.